I'm John Friedman from the Wild Bird Store in Tucson, Arizona. We're here to talk about Hummers today. We field lots of questions from our customer base. And one of the major questions we hear quite often is, do I need to put a hummingbird feeder out if I want to attract hummingbirds? Or will flowers work equally as well? We explain to our customers and anyone interested that while flowers are wonderful, they're great to have for many reasons, there, most folks don't have enough room to plant enough flowers to maintain a hummingbird for two consecutive days. Not all flowers are nectar producing flowers, but the ones that are only have a micro amount of nectar in them. And once the hummingbird usurps that nectar, that flower needs 24 to 48 hours to regenerate the next amount of nectar. So, in order to keep one hummingbird alive, one would need to have about 5,000 nectar producing flowers each day. And in order to keep one hummer alive for two consecutive days, that would mean 10,000 flowers if it takes 24 to 48 hours to regenerate more nectar. So, having a single hummingbird feeder is far superior uh, because it'll hold tens of thousands of flowers worth of nectar in one single location that doesn't take up much space. And a single ounce of nectar will keep a single hummer alive probably for several days running. So much more cost effective, uh, much more concentrated for the hummers. They don't have to search around traveling wide distances from one flower to the other. Having a hummingbird feeder solves problems for hummers. Now, we have also been asked, what's the best hummingbird feeder on the market? In our store, we stock many hummingbird feeders, and certain ones have certain attributes that others may not have. And there's always two ways to consider hummingbirds. From the human perspective, does it look good? Is it easy to clean? Is it easy to fill? Uh, can it be hung or pole mounted? There's human considerations like those. Then there's considerations for the bird's use. Does it have purchase so the birds can conserve energy instead of expending energy while they're drinking? Uh, what about visibility, both for us watching them as well as for the hummers? Because when they're on the feeder, they want to be able to see 360 degrees. They want to be able to watch for competitors, predators, interruptions. So. There's no one feeder that is the absolute best feeder above and beyond all others. But we do have our favorites. And one of my favorites that I like to show folks is this model. It's made by a company in Rhode Island called Aspex. They've been making these feeders for many, many years. They also offer lifetime guarantees on all their feeders. They're constructed of UV-stable polycarbonate. This is a very important consideration for the longevity of a feeder. These feeders will last a lifetime. One-time purchase, won't have to replace them. They're simple to use. You pop the lid, you're in. The nectar well is very easy to, to get your fingers in, a sponge in, clean it. You don't need special brushes. It has a built-in ant barrier an overflow moat for rain, which is what this little round cup in the center is. It keeps crawling bugs and water out of the nectar. There's a little gauge on the side of the feeder. It may be hard to see in the video, but it shows you in exact ounces how much nectar is left in the feeder at any given point in time. This is very helpful because now you can put just the right amount of nectar in your feeder for three days, three nights, and that's a good amount of time to keep the nectar fresh and then change it. These feeders have nice brass hangers. They also have the ability to be pole mounted. They can go on a dowel or a pipe. They have what's called nectar guard technology. On the underside of the food cart are little nectar guard tips. These are little tips that when placed on the underside of the feeder make this feeder 100% bee-proof, wasp-proof, 
and essentially flying insect proof. So between the ant barrier and the nectar guard tips, these feeders are completely insect proof. If they fall and drop, they're gonna bounce rather than break. They're basically unbreakable. It's UV stable polycarbonate, so it's not scratchable. Uh, if, you don't, if you wear glasses and your glasses are not real glass, they're polycarbonate. Polycarbonate is the strongest plastic on the market and being UV stable, it makes it last in the sun for decades. We love this feeder because it's a mid-sized feeder, 12 ounce, but it also has a raised perch. This also has dual benefits for both humans and hummingbirds. It allows great visibility if you're op on the opposite side of the feeder and the hummer is perched, you can see the whole hummer. It's not obscured by the lid on other feeders where the perch is lower than the lid. And for the hummingbird, the advantages are twofold. They have a great visibility, 365 degrees. There's no big bottle of reservoir of nectar here blocking their view. And they get to um, little baby hummers right out of the nest can sit here and be in a position to use it. Whereas on other feeders, young hummingbirds have to wait until they're actually large enough, which takes a while after they're out of the nest. So hummers like using this feeder. My customers like using this feeder. I love this feeder. I think it's one of the best. It's called the Aspects High View Humzinger.